Pakistan, which is made up of high peaks in the north and barren mountains in the west, is home to a rich architectural heritage, including one of the largest mosques in the world. The country is the birthplace of the Balak horse, which has the reputation, with the Unmol, of being the ancestor of most of the horses that populate Pakistan today. Throughout its history, the Balak served several times as a cavalry horse, such as in 1721 when the British-held Iranian city of Bandar Abbas was assaulted by a force of 400 Balak horsemen. In tradition, the Balak is considered to be related to the Berber horse of West Africa, through horses from Mali, known as Beledugu or Banamba. It would therefore share the same ancestors as the Waziri horse originally from Afghanistan. Another theory states that it could be the descendant of Arab and Mongolian. Regardless, it is very similar to the Marwari and Kathiawari of India. In Pakistan, the majority of horses are light, but larger than ponies, this rule applies to the Balak. One of its distinctive signs is the shape of its ears which are very curved. The coat is generally bay, gray or black, sometimes chestnut, and more rarely white. He is between 1 meter 42 and 1 meter 47 tall and weighs around 400 kilograms. The Baluk is a very nice little riding horse, who is willing to work. Despite the apparent fragility that his body may inspire, he has strength, energy and a lot of endurance. It is widely used in leisure riding and competition, especially for tent pegging, a sport originating in Asia recognized by the Fédération Equestre Internationale. It is highlighted in certain presentations, thanks to its atypical appearance. The Balak horse is rare and is becoming extinct over the years. There are no precise records of its population, and no preservation attempts are being made to avoid its almost inevitable extinction.